Ever wondered how a museum can be even bigger than the famous Louvre? Or how ancient treasures are protected from earthquakes and the scorching desert sun? Today, we're diving into the Grand Egyptian Museum, a mega project that's redefining the museum scene. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Project Overview while still emerging from the sands of time, the Grand Egyptian Museum already reigned supreme as the biggest museum in the world by area, a testament to Egypt's enduring legacy. This colossal complex covers 50 hectares (123.55 acres), encompassing the museum building, surrounding gardens, and open spaces. By comparison, the Louvre, with its palace, courtyards, and gardens, spans 24 hectares (59 acres). In this massive space, a staggering 925,700 square feet (86,000 square meters) are dedicated to exhibitions, making it the largest archaeological museum in the world. This expansive area houses a multitude of galleries showcasing both permanent collections and rotating temporary displays, ensuring there's always something new to discover. Even the youngest visitors will be captivated by the dedicated children's museum, designed to spark curiosity and a love for ancient history. Although the design of the museum is quite modern, the inside of the building hosts a civilization dating back over 7,000 years. The biggest and most highly anticipated attraction inside the museum is the collection of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. From the death masks, golden sandals and beds, to the iron dagger of the boy king, you will find an extensive collection present at the museum. The authorities claim that they have over 5,400 artefacts from Pharaoh Tutankhamun collection and over 100,000 other ancient artefacts. The museum's location is not only well planned, but also strategically positioned on the Giza Plateau in the neighborhood of the pyramids, approximately 2 kilometers (1.2 miles) from the Giza Pyramid Complex. The museum was intentionally designed to provide visitors with a panoramic view of all three pyramids from inside, giving the visitors a tour of modern and old Egypt in one place, and they evidently succeeded in accomplishing that design. But the construction of the Grand Egyptian Museum wasn't a smooth ride. In fact, it's been a journey spanning over two decades. It all started back in 1992 when the idea for a new Grand Museum near the pyramids was first conceived. To find the perfect design for this ambitious project, an international competition was launched in 2002, attracting architects from 82 different countries. The magnitude of the competition made it the second largest architectural competition in the world. The winner, announced in 2003, was the Irish firm Hinehan Peng Architects, which received a $250,000 prize and the chance to build the museum. With the design in place, former president Hossein Mubarak officially launched the project later that year, laying the foundation stone and setting the wheels in motion. In 2006, full four years before construction even began, the famous 3,200-year-old statue of Ramesses II, a colossal figure standing over 11 meters tall, was moved to the site. This wasn't just any statue. It was meant to be the centerpiece of the museum, greeting visitors upon entering. Fast forward to 2008, and the project got a big boost with a $300 million loan from the Japan Bank. However, the estimated cost for this massive undertaking was a whopping $1 billion. The rest of the funding came from a mix of generous donations, the Egyptian government's own resources, and contributions from passionate collectors who wanted to see this dream come to life. Excavations finally kicked off in 2009, laying the groundwork for the museum's ambitious design. But just as things were getting started, the Egyptian revolution and subsequent political instability threw a wrench in the plans, halting construction for several years. It wasn't until 2017 that work resumed, but then the pandemic hit, causing further delays. After all these setbacks, the Grand Egyptian Museum is finally on the verge of completion. While a soft opening phase began in 2023, allowing limited visits to some areas, the full grand opening is expected to take place by the end of 2024. 
and what an opening it's expected to be. The Egyptian government is projecting a whopping 5 million visitors annually, turning this modern marvel into a major cultural and economic hub for the country. In the meantime, you can still get a taste of this modern marvel. Parts of the museum, like the exhibition floor, the majestic Grand Hall, the impressive Grand Staircase, the bustling commercial area and even the exterior gardens are already open for exploration. Unfortunately, the main galleries, the Khufu Solar Boat Museum, a separate building housing a reconstructed ancient solar boat of Pharaoh Khufu, among other parts of the museum, are not open yet. Engineering and Design Let's dive into what makes the Grand Egyptian Museum not just impressive, but truly extraordinary. This museum isn't just built to look good, it's built to last and to protect its priceless treasures. Ever wondered how a building can withstand an earthquake? Well, the GEM can. One of its coolest features is a special base isolation system. Think of it like giant shock absorbers for the building, keeping it safe during earthquakes and making sure the artifacts inside are well protected. While the museum's shape might remind you of the famous pyramids, it's more than just a nod to history. The triangular design is optimized for sustainability, its angled facade is covered in high-performance glass that floods the inside with natural light, reducing the need for artificial lighting and keeping the interior temperature comfortable. Even when it's a scorching 150 degrees Fahrenheit outside, the museum stays at a cool 73 degrees thanks to this smart design. And it gets even better. The roof of the museum is covered with solar panels that harness the sun's energy. These panels don't just provide a renewable energy source, they're also arranged in a pattern that pays tribute to the Nile River Delta, adding a meaningful touch of Egypt's natural heritage. Now, let's talk about the amazing landscape design. This part of the museum is all about connecting with Egypt's natural beauty and the historical significance of the River Nile. There are three main outdoor spaces that capture the essence of the Nile's journey through Egypt. Nile Park. This big green area features a winding path that represents the river's course. It has lush vegetation to symbolize the fertile Nile Valley and water features that bring to mind the river's life-giving waters. Entrance Plaza. This formal space serves as a grand welcome to the museum. There's a water basin that reflects the building's facade and rows of palm trees that offer shade and create a sense of arrival. Palm Grove. This peaceful oasis has hundreds of date palm trees, which were symbols of prosperity and abundance in ancient Egypt. The museum also uses locally sourced stone like granite and limestone in its construction. This choice reduces the environmental impact of transporting materials and connects the building to the surrounding landscape. The use of native plants and smart water saving landscaping techniques makes this design not only beautiful, but also functional. It provides shade, helps cool down the desert heat, and creates a sustainable ecosystem. According to an ESI Africa report, the museum's smart design is expected to result in energy savings equivalent to removing over 400 gasoline-powered vehicles from Cairo streets for a year. The water savings are estimated to be 63.4 million litres of Nile River water annually. Technological Innovations Beyond its stunning landscapes and eco-friendly design, the Grand Egyptian Museum is a hub of cutting-edge technology and innovation. During the construction process, they used some pretty cool technology to build it, like this fancy software called BIM, short for Building Information Modeling. Imagine a super detailed 3D model of the whole museum, like a digital blueprint on steroids. Every little detail, from the walls and floors to the pipes and wires, was mapped out in this model. Autodesk, a leading provider of BIM software, established a case study detailing how their software, Revit and BIM360, was used for the GEM project. BIM helps coordinate information among 150 subcontractors and 5,000 on-site workers streamline the scoping process and manage the complex geometry of the museum's design. Think of it as a digital toolbox that helped them build this amazing museum with precision and care. 
Still during the building process, they used cutting edge technologies like 3D modeling and digital scanning to create accurate replicas of ancient artifacts. This protects these treasures for future generations. Technology and innovation is also very present on a museum's daily routine. Behind the scenes, the museum has 17 high-tech conservation labs dedicated to restoring and preserving Egyptian artifacts. These labs focus on different materials like wood, stone and mummies, making sure each artifact gets the right care and attention. There's also a special microbiology lab that studies the tiny organisms on the artifacts. This helps to develop ways to protect them better. Technology is also present in the exhibitions. One of the highlights is the Tutankhamun's Tomb VR experience. Created by Atlantic Productions, this immersive experience takes you on a virtual tour of the pharaoh's tomb just as it was discovered in 1922. That's all on the Grand Egyptian Museum. The rest you will have to discover and see it for yourself. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to our channel. We will be coming up with more exciting videos soon. Thanks for watching.